Hi and welcome. My name is Sophie and I'm doing vlogs and perfume reviews. This will be my first official fall video of 2024, although we are still in summer where I am. So you will probably see me do like this a lot. I'm honestly so done with the summer. It gets so hot here and the heat stays so long. The heat doesn't help me to get things done. So I'm really happy to do this fall video and I hope fall will be here very, very soon, even here in Spain. Fall and winter perfumes are my favorite scents. Although I'm not wearing them that often, I really love to speak about them. I love to wear them and you can wear them any time of the year. Of course, their perfumes are very seasonal, but I think that any perfume you can wear anytime you feel like it and they are unisex. The perfumes of today is for everyone. You keep coming back to my videos. I'm very happy if you subscribe to my channel because I see that there are many that keep coming back but they're not subscribers yet and I'd be very happy if you can support me by clicking that button. It's a jungle out there but there are some scents I want to highlight and we're going through them now. I want to start with the house that's been growing for me lately. All the perfumes are very classic and Parisian chic. This is the house of Celine. Many of the perfumes in this line have similar DNA and they're often very powdery, a bit floral. So they have this little bit mature style. The powdery note may be a little bit mature for some. And this one is just right. This is night clubbing. And this scent is not what it sounds like. Before trying out this scent, I would expect to be a bit bosy, loud, and sweet. I can picture a night out, nice avenues of Paris, having some drinks and cocktails. And this kind of vibe, very classy, feminine, beautiful, chic and seductive without being sexy and vulgar. There is a fine line between these two. It's powdery, but it's sweet, but it still has this musky animalic twist to it. So this is just perfect. And I Club is my favorite perfume of all the Celine perfumes. Another favorite of mine is from the Penaligons. And I'm always not sure how to pronounce this. Uh, and it's called the favorite. It's not this typical fall perfume. It's more like a transitional scent. I want to say this is either this or that, because I think this is a very good signature scent also. Let's say you're wearing this and every time someone would pick this up, they will know you're coming. This is like, now here she comes. I think it's a unique enough scent to be a signature perfume. What stands out here is the violet, so it's very floral scent with powdery notes. Of all the scents today, this is a more feminine leaning. Okay, next out is Joe Malone's Scarlet Poppy Intense. This is the one in the red bottle. The Joe Malone scents are more like colognes. Even though it is a cologne, it's more intense, so it has better longevity. The longevity here equals uh, ordinary perfumes. This lasts me about four to six hours on my skin. Let's check out the notes here. This could also be a signature scent. It has vintage vibes, it's sweet, it's seductive, it's just perfect. It's an amazing scent. Really enjoy this. This is a scent that I wished I had discovered earlier in my YouTube uh, experience. I've been a bit stuck in this ordinary Joe Malone bottles. Uh, maybe they're just focusing more on the regular ones and then exposing and pushing the red ones in the marketing. I'm not sure, but maybe I haven't seen the red ones that often. But I'm glad I found it and it's such an amazing, beautiful scent. I can really recommend it. My next one is a bit more fun for fall because it's not really a perfume that you consider fall. Even though it's fall, it's not going to rain every day. We're still going to have some nice, beautiful, sunny days. This next scent will pull up very good for these sort of days. Valentino's Boni Roma, the Gold Donna. It's amazing how they do this on three notes. There must be some hidden secrets here, but it has gardenia, mandarin, and coconut. Fresh note, floral, and a creamy coconut. I get a very creamy, like tonic, very smooth floral with a bit of freshness. It's very airy, it's beautiful, creamy, well-rounded. It does get a little bit sweet, so that's what I'm thinking of. This typical Valentino body aroma scent gets sweet. Another fun thing is that it's a new scent. It was just launched Few months ago you have the possibility where you live to check out the house i can really recommend the house of leda check the notes it has pink pepper ginger bergamot resins olibanum cardamom floral bouquet vanilla patchouli and musk this scent for me is oriental it's creamy it's spicy it's warm 
it's seductive, it's very powerful. It has a lot of spices, it has resins, and olibanum is also some kind of resin. It's very creamy and balsamic. It makes an impact, it leaves a beautiful tray, it feels deep, warm and rich. It was so fun putting this video together, so I hope you have enjoyed it. And I even put a cardigan on to make it more fall appropriate and I'm really sweaty now. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon again in my next one. Bye!